Hey, welcome back and welcome to another Bourbon Burner episode where we cook with bourbon. Uh, and yeah, there is some cooking in this, but it's that time of year uh, doing these holiday specials. And, you know, we have things like mulled wine and um, hot apple cider, cocoa, and of course, the all around favorite eggnog. So let's make some. Hey, welcome back to the Bourbon Bounty Kitchen. Uh, it's holiday season, and what better way to ring in the holidays than with eggnog? We're coming up on Christmas. Eggnog is a delight, but it's always better if you make it at home. And this is a super simple recipe. There's one technical aspect to it. The only thing is you have to make this a day ahead of time because it has to chill overnight in the fridge. Who wants warm eggnog, right? So what we have here is super simple. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this uh, burner up on pretty high. Uh, and uh, what I'm gonna do is add two cups of milk to this. All righty. And to that, I have a half pint or one cup of heavy whipping cream. So two cups of milk, and, and of course, as always, I'll put the recipe in the description of this video. Now this we're gonna bring up to 160 degrees, and then we're gonna temper these eggs. Uh, but to the eggs I have in this bowl, I've removed the whites. This is six egg yolks. To that, I'm gonna add one half cup granulated sugar. And then I'm gonna get this blended together. And it's gonna look kind of like that. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but uh, it's all blended together. This is yolks and sugar. Now, this is gonna sit here and wait until this comes up to temp. I'm gonna get my thermometer out and I'm gonna be monitoring uh, the temperature on this. And then I'll show you how to temper these uh, egg yolks. All right, guys, we're almost up to temp. I've turned the burner down on a lower temperature. I was just uh, kind of rushing it up there to uh, the 160 mark. Uh, we are at about 150 now. While this was coming up to temp, I did add a, a quarter teaspoon, I mean, a, what was it? Uh, a half teaspoon of nutmeg. We're gonna add a quarter teaspoon of vanilla later in the process, but not right now. So we are almost there. Yep, we are there. Now, what I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna start adding a spoonful at a time of my warm mixture into my egg yolks and sugar. And I'm gonna whisk constantly while I'm doing this. This tempers the eggs. You don't want these yolks to congeal. Just a little bit at a time and until almost all of it's in there. So this is like the Slightly tedious part, but it's very, very important that you do this. I've got uh, uh, my eggs tempered pretty good. They're very thin now. I'm gonna go ahead and add, I've got almost all of it, probably uh, two, uh, three quarters of it added to this mixture. I'm now gonna dump this back into the pot. that all incorporated really well. 
Now what we're gonna do is bring this back up to 160, and then we're gonna add a uh, quarter teaspoon of vanilla uh, at, right before we, we start to let it cool. Uh, some will tell you to make an ice bath for this and and uh, chill the pot in a, in a, you don't have to do all that. All you have to do is just kind of let it cool on the side uh, and then um, put it in a container and just put it in the refrigerator overnight. Now, if you want to try to drink it the same day, um, you can uh, do an ice bath and try to hurry things along, but I can tell you that is another tedious process and it takes a lot more ice than you think it does um, because it will continue to just melt and melt and melt that ice and you just have to keep adding ice in. Uh, it, it would probably be good to get a 20 pound bag of ice if you were going to do that uh, and then put in your sink, set the pot in, put the ice all around it, but we're not going to do that. Uh, we're going to get a container, separate container uh, to uh, Put this into and chill it overnight and tomorrow we're gonna uh, add different bourbons with it to see which ones are best uh, but we'll get to more of that in just a second all right we're just about back up to 160 um, on this remember the eggs have been tempered uh, nothing's going to congeal in here this is going to be a nice smooth creamy eggnog uh, and safe to drink so we are at 150 going to 160 as soon as this hits the 160 mark, I'm gonna remove it from the heat uh, and I'm gonna add a quarter teaspoon and we are just about there. So let me go ahead and get my vanilla ready here. I think we're good to go on this. Let me do it over the pot just in case I dribble a little. Perfect. Okay, there's that quarter teaspoon. All right, let this come right on up to that 160 mark. And that's gonna be your safe temperature. Uh, nobody getting sick off of uh, eggnog. Nice and foamy in there. And I think we're there. All right. We're gonna have to kill this heat. Oops. There we go. Now I'm gonna take this off the heat and I'm gonna let this cool. And then I'm gonna put it in this. Uh, this is uh, some Oster thing that came with a uh, it's probably something to make smoothies in, but it, it holds just the right amount for what I'm making here. You can absolutely double this recipe. You're gonna to want to. Uh, this will keep up to a one week in the refrigerator, uh, but I guarantee you this amount will not last one week in your, your refrigerator because people are gonna drink it up, okay? So uh, it, depending on size, uh, if it's just you and your wife or, or you have kids or it's just you alone, uh, you, you and a, a girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever, this may be enough uh, for, for a, a one or two people, but you're gonna want more than this, especially if you start mixing these drinks. And tomorrow, uh, when we meet back in the studio, uh, I'm gonna have this chilled and ready, and we are gonna try this with a few different bourbons to see, uh, and, and again, you don't have to put rum in eggnog. I know that's kind of a tradition thing, uh, but you can put some nice bourbons in eggnog and it goes very well and we're gonna taste test them tomorrow. All right, here we are. Nice and chilled, uh, little little uh, uh, moisture on the outside there because I pulled it out of the refrigerator just a little bit ago. This lid is a little tough to open, hang on. Mm, I have to put a little effort into it. So I have three glasses and what I'm gonna do before I pour the eggnog in is I'm, I've chosen three bourbons here. One uh, readily available, really good uh, lower price bourbon is Old Tub. Uh, and then one of my newfound favorites here is TX Bourbon. Uh, and then for the sweetness uh, and of the double oaked, I'm gonna try it. And we'll see, and, and I have a little Guinness shot glass here, um, just so I know I'm, I'm pouring. You know what, I'm gonna start with the Old Tub 
And I'm just going to put a little bit in here. I'm not going to really douse these up too much. Just the top of the Guinness. And we'll put a little bit of bourbon there. And let that run down. That is sweet. I like. Um, I hope I don't get anaphylactic shock or something um, from this sweetness. But um, rum's sweet too. And, and you know, like I was saying, the typical stuff is rum. Uh, what people uh, would put in eggnog. Top of the Guinness. And you can see the difference in color on these bourbons. And yeah, I'm using the sh same shot glass, but the gist of it's gonna be there. Just want to make sure I get it. Give them all an even chance here. All right, so we have our bourbon. All right, I got them poured up here. Um, I had to take the lid all the way off, uh, but that's okay. Um, I tell you what, if you make this, I made it a little thick um, and, and that's fine. Um, but if you're going to not put alcohol in it, I would suggest putting about a shot of cream or something in it to thin it out just a little but i'm going to try the control uh and I, I did sprinkle just a little cinnamon uh on top of these uh this is tx this is uh woodford and that is old tub so let me just try the uh, eggnog oh wow that is delicious let me tell you Mm. Oh yeah, I don't think you need to add much to it. It thins out when you mix it back up. Oh, that's good. Mm. All right, so let's try And I took a straw, mixed these up really well. So this is TX bourbon. Oh yeah. Mm. Got a little of that cinnamon when I turned it up. Get it mixed in good in your mouth. That that was that was quite tasty. Uh, this one is the uh, Woodford. Mmm. Yeah, that's good too. They're all they're all gonna be fantastic. Watch, uh, old tub. Mmm, that's a tough one. You know they're all different though. That they are. Let me let me let me go back through these again. So TX. Mmm. Okay, that one has. A, the, I think it's the mildest of the three. So if you have somebody that maybe they're not that into. Uh, they want an alcohol drink, but they don't really want to taste a lot of alcohol. That's a good mild uh, pour in eggnog right there. Uh, now Woodford. Mm-hmm. Okay. More oaky notes are coming out in, in this one. I, I really, I think this is my favorite, but I'm splitting hairs here. So let's try this one again. Oh, that's good too. It's different. This one has a really good punch to it, but it doesn't uh, really change the complexity of the, the eggnog that much. It just enhances it a little bit. And I think this one's kind of changing it just a little. Um, is it for the better though? Boy, these are all great. Mmm, man, that's so good. Yeah, that one's really, really tasty. I think for this experiment, this one's my favorite. It adds just this depth to, to it that's just a little bit better, but boy, this is a close second. And this one kind of got lost.
Mm. Boy, they're all good though. Now, this one did taste different than the jug, okay? The no alcohol. They all taste way better uh, with, with the bourbon in them. That tastes kind of plain. So it is enhancing it. I don't really think it matters what type of bourbon you use in it, really. You're splitting hairs on, oh, I kind of like this one a little bit better than this one. I, it, it just elevates the eggnog. It, it does. I don't have any rum, or I would try some, but I can tell you, I would get a spiced rum. And the one thing I didn't do, I almost did, was maybe put some whistle pig in it, 100% rye or maybe uh, four roses, you know, with a little spice kick. But I kind of wanted, I already have nutmeg in here. I already have cinnamon in here. I wanted to keep that sub subdued. Uh, I didn't want to add too much spice to my eggnog. Now, apple cider or something like that, heck yeah. Mmm, man. All three of these are bang on delicious and it just feels like the holidays so with that guys i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up as always please like and subscribe hit the bell down there for notifications and i promise i'll keep bringing you these videos